Welcome everyone to the Red Lounge, Rick Redmond here, and we are now in week two of this Madden NFL 18 franchise for your Los Angeles Rams. Before we get into our week two game action after coming off of that nice home opener, season opener win against the Colts, we gotta take a look at the injury report. There was one casualty from that game and it was our starting center, John Sullivan, who is going to be out for four weeks. So we are going to have to play a little bit of a weaker O-line with a 69 overall center, but that's okay. We'll make things work. We'll just run to the outside. But heading into this week's action, this is going to be kind of like a sort of reunion as we are going to be at home again, but taking on the Washington Redskins. If you are familiar with Sean McVay's coaching history, he was the offensive coordinator for the Redskins. So in a sense, he actually knows what this team is about, but at the same time, the Redskins might know what his, his philosophy and coaching style is all about. And there's his former protege, Kirk Cousins, getting ready for in-game action here. Let's see what he does with Dalkis. Old coordinator McVabe, first throw, and a nice play to Jordan Reed for a first down already inside our own territory. So we're going to have to come up with a stop here on third and short. Third and three, stopped Robert Kelly, so forces them to punt and we get the ball right back. So then first play from scrimmage starting way back at the nine yard line. Todd Gurley gets a nice big run for a first down. McVay encouraging to keep on running. And second and seven, look at this throw here by Goff. Hitting the target on his first throw for a 22-yard gain to the rookie Everett. Now on the next play, first and 10. Back to Gurley here as he does get stopped. Nothing really coming out of that run, but oh gosh. This is the more significant part right here. The, oh no, I don't like I don't like how Gurley's looking at his foot. We're gonna have to take we're gonna have to check in on that in a sec, because that did not look good at all. As you see on the next play, we're already affected by it. As Goff takes a sack on second and long. Now on third and 29. Goff's going to have to find a way to make this work. And he does. He gets the first down to the rookie Everett. 31-yard catch. An improbable third down conversion. But, ah, the sour bad news. Our star back, Todd Gurley, is out. Which means Lance Dunbar, backup, will be taking over responsibilities now as the lead back so we were only able to match a field goal on that drive so Redskins come back with the ball Cousins nailing that completion for a first down near midfield here Cousins drops back and gets sacked by Robert Quinn which brings us to third and 11 Cousins looking it's got time but he gets sacked again this time it's Aaron Donald's turn to join into the sack party which forces them to punt again so defense playing big dividends here. Goff though, he's gonna drop back on his possession. Now he takes, he gets hit to the ground as he takes a sack this time by Kerrigan. Then on third and 14, Goff dropping back and oh my gosh, it's like deja vu as Goff gets hit again. So two sacks on our end, but two sacks on their end. So we're gonna have to give the ball right back to them. And now with great field position, here come the Redskins now. Robert Kelly, look at the juke moves. Getting near first down. Then on third and six, play action. Oh, Cousins takes a hit and it's a fumble. Aaron Donald scoops it up and he's gonna go. He can he go all the way? And it is. It's a touchdown as he just passes out as soon as he gets right into the end zone. Wow. Defense making the play here and getting our first touchdown of the game here. And you see, look at Robert Quinn getting the hit. Gets credit for the sack and Donald picks up the scraps and then look at the big man run. Just slowly, even though it's on replay, just slowly run and eventually he's just gonna, oh, I'm just gonna take a break. But big turn, big change of momentum there as that gets us up to 10-0. Now with about the two minutes to play in the first half, they're gonna punt the ball to Tavon. Okay, Tavon's making moves. Tavon's making more moves. Oh, he gets stuck. Oh, his own guy got them stuck. He could have taken that one to the house, but does get a nice return here at the 39-yard line. So now with about a little over a minute and a half to play in the half, Goff's going to engineer this two-minute offense. Second and four, he's going to find Everett for a first down. Now in the 28, less than a minute to play. Goff takes a little back throw, back step throw right here, finds Robert Woods. 
who gets the first down towards the sideline here. Then on the next play, first and ten. Goff, oh, takes a hit right there with the sack. That's costly. As now it's going to be third and 19 with about 20 seconds to play. Goff looking, looking. Didn't have enough time to throw, so he just finds Tavon Austin over the middle. So that will just result at least to get us in for three points. And then we found another injury. This time our rookie Everett is out for the game. What is going on? Oh yeah, yeah. I mean the good news is we're up by 13 and we're shutting them out, but if we keep stacking up these injuries, this could get up this could get bad in a hurry. So now starting up the second half. Wait a second, who is this? Who is this? It is not Todd Gurley. It's Lance Dunbar. Starting off the second half with a 71 yard run. Wow. Who would have expected that going into this game? Look at this. Look at the speed of Dunbar. I mean, this is just something I've never expected from him. But now we're getting a gist of what he offers as our backup running back and now our starter. Now we do go for the two-point conversion. Ah, and Watkins drops it. So score still stays at 19-0. But man, what a start to the second half right here. Now Rettin with the ball. Cousins, third and nine, is going to find Jordan on the left side. And oh my good, look at Robert Quinn. That's a man tackle right there. That is a man's man tackle right there. Just all, all by himself with that effort. Now on the... Oh, look at this. Dunbar's not done here. Now we get the ball back. Dunbar gets a first down and then some. Look at look at his average ever since he got that big run. Just boosted up and skyrocket. Now he's almost over 100 yards rushing. Goff now play action. And nobody gets full. And Goff takes the sack. Two guys at him. So now that's going to force us to a second and long and eventually we would have to punt the ball. But Redskins now back deep in their own territory and look at this. Three Rams come right after Cousins. Nobody falls for that play action either. Three, as Cousins is just, he is infuriated with the protection. See, both quarterbacks should be. But look at Dunbar here. On the next possession, the Rams get the ball and Dunbar. Look at Dunbar. He could go all the way. It's the Lance Dunbar show here in LA tonight. Dunbar has just become a star here against this Redskins defense. Look at the on the replay. It's, he just has these quick cuts and moves, and it's like just so surprising. But somehow, some way, he just is able to find a way to get into the end zone for a touchdown. As he blows a kiss into the sky, maybe parting the Redskins' chances of winning this game right here. But it's 26-0, so that's a big deficit, but there is still one more quarter to play. Now Redskins did try to go for the first down here, and Kelly stopped short. So on fourth and two, they can go for the long field goal and at least try to end the shutout. But it's short. The kick is short, so the Redskins still stay at zero. So now all we got to do is just play it safe, keep this shutout intact, and we are good. Oh man. Come on, Goff. Go, 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 go. You can still stop it. No. Oh. <sighs> okay. The bad read by Goff. Bad read by Goff. But this is the second year. He's learning. So, shut out. Not intact anymore. But we can at least salvage this and hopefully don't let the Redskins score another point again. Kirk Cousins, though, did get a first down that play. Bond third and nine here, mid near midfield. It's dropped, tipped. Oh, and look at this here. Some instigation going on here. So on fourth and nine, Redskins pretty much last shot here. If they had a last shot. Cousins going to take a deep shot all the way near the end zone. Oh, but it is picked off by Kayvon Webster. And that, for sure now, is going to seal it for us as the Rams, we go on to win 29 to seven as we go into the season two and zero, oh, and Sean McVay gets a nice win against his former team. A good win to cap off this two game homestand as now we will go back on the road next week. We'll definitely need to check on the stats of Todd Girl and hopefully it is nothing too serious. But thank you guys for watching this week's episode. Until next time guys, this is gonna be Rick Redman signing out. Check it out.